Oh my gosh, I am super excited. Um, I went to a cosplay jam party sleepover thing this weekend, and um, my boyfriend's friend's mom had a serger that I got to use for the first time in my 11 years of making cosplays, and I was so excited that I ordered my own serger over the weekend, and I have a new friend in a very large box here that I'm so excited to open. I've been like, you know, someday I will invest in a serger, so... This was finally that day. Um, this box is very big. This may also have the sewing machine that I ordered too, because I hate my current sewing machine, which was my backup for my other sewing machine that I really liked that broke a couple of years back. And after I got it fixed, I needed to fix it every other year. And I'm just so sick of putting money into that one. So I had to get rid of it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. God, I okay. I live on the third floor of a Victorian house in an apartment. Um, I had to carry this big ass box with two machines in it up the stairs. Unlike. I'm strong enough that, like, the weight wasn't too much of an issue, but, like, maneuvering the box up the stairs was an issue. Um, but I'm so excited to say hello oh, to my sister. Yay! I kind of picked a little blindly. Um, I didn't do a super lot of research, but I, the one that I used, um, at our friend's house was a brother, um, so, I got a brother, and, gosh, I can't believe I have a surgery. <laughs> I'm so excited. Um, I also got myself a new sewing machine. Oh, so, my first sewing machine that I had inherited from my mom had was pretty similar to this one. It had, like, the same dials and stuff like that. So, when I got like when I was moved to the Singer Promise 2, which is what I've been using um, for the past year or so. Um, it was a major downgrade because it doesn't have all of the settings and like it was, I hate front loading machines. I really like the top loading bobbins. Um, so upgrading back up to this and this is supposed to be like a heavy duty one. So I'm hoping that means it's a little sturdier than this last one is too. Um, I'm very excited to get these set up and get working with them. <clears throat> oh, I mean, stand up. Fix. Bear with me. sound effects for like everything in my life. I don't know if it's because I danced growing up or because I work with kids. Or maybe I'm just weird. I'm just making a pile of a uh, styrofoam there. It's gonna be all of it at the end. We'll see how tall it gets. Um, so this is the sewing machine that I chose. And it gives me some nice control over it. Hey, get out of here. Oh, I'm kind of surprised that they have the needle in there already. There's the lever. Oh, it comes with a bobby. How oh, nice. This is top loading instead of front loading for the bobbin, which is so nice because you can see through it and you can see how much thread you have left on your bobbin without like opening up the whole damn thing. Um, and it's a lot easier to put into. You don't have to like put it through that weird metal holder thing that front loading bobbin machines have. Um, you just like pop the thing off and you put it in and like there's no weird case for it or anything like that. Um, so that's why I much prefer those and I'm super happy to have one of those again. Um, it's got a nice metal plate. I didn't have this on my one before. I think this is nicer than the one that I first had that I loved so much. Um, and it gives me like all the wheels for attention and the needle position. And the width, I'm so fucking happy to have so much more control. Um, 
And I've got new stitches. So that'll be really cool to be able to use that wheel. Um, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna set that one up and I'm gonna switch things over so I can open the serger now. All right, serger time. Book. And I don't know if any of you watching this ever watched um, when I did like those black sheep box unboxings. And I think, I don't remember if it was, there was only like a couple of them that I did because like they stopped coming out. Um, during my subscription, which sucked. Um, and there was one video where I was like, hey! Okay, are you done barking? Are you done barking? She had to bark at our roommate who comes home almost every fucking day, more than once a day. And every time she has to bark, this is Mookie by the way. Hmm. Alright. Time for work. <gasps> Here's the instructions, these are very important, don't need these. That's a piece. There's the pedal. There it is. Focus. There it is. Um, so this one came with a couple spools of thread, which I didn't realize was gonna happen. I probably would have realized if I had read the entire product description. I don't usually do that. Um, so, but I have, um, like, actual, those big serger thread spools for the projects that I'm currently working on. Oh, God, I'm so excited to have this. <laughs> this is gonna be so life-changing, all of my cosplay creation. Um, and I'm hoping to make stuff other than just cosplays, too. Oh, that's cool, and they, like, set it up so they actually, like, did the thing so that you already have a tail going. Um, if you're gonna start with these threads, which I'm not going to, so it's like kind of a moot point, but I love that. That's so cool. You have this little like sample stitching with all the different colors. You can see like which color does what. So if you want to mix your colors, you have this little guide, um, like actually set up for you. Um, so this looks... A little simpler to thread than the one that I was using before which is neat because the one that I used at my friend's house had like this bar that had like you put it through here and wrap it around and then you put it through here and this just has one hole for each thing um, and then you put it through a guide on the top here um, and the whole part in here I'm not gonna show you because I'm not super clear on um, one of the things that I kind of wish it had but I might be able to get us like an accessory or something. <gasps> oh, I think that's what this is actually. Is a little catch bin. Cause it like kind of trims the edge of your fabric as it goes too. Like all the parts that are fraying. Um, so this will catch all of that, which is really neat. And I like that it has colors on it. I like colorful things. Um, I'm so excited to use this, you guys. <laughs> all right, so machine first, let's take a closer look at this. Uh, one of the things that I really like having control over um, is the width of the stitch on the previous machine. I had, like, a selection for, like, a really far apart zigzag stitch, and then, like, a really close, and then, like, a really, really close, um, but I can do, like, all of that a little more custom on something like this, um, because I would just choose, like, the zigzag stitch, and then I can choose how close I want the stitches together, and then also how wide I want the zigzag to be. Um, and I really like having the control over that, so I'm super glad to have those settings on this machine. Um, other thing I'm super pumped about is, of course, the top loading bobbin, which I mentioned before I started putting in my thread for um, my machine. And I also like, because all of them have like a storage case, usually like when you take this thing off. But the neat thing about this machine in particular is I just pull this open, whoop, and it's right in here. And that's where I can keep all my extra feats and everything. Um, so that should be really cool and really useful. Um, and so much simpler to access when I need stuff when it comes with, like, all the basics. Um, also this, like, I love having the reverse button here. Um, 
Yeah, so this is, oh god, this is so like smooth and neat and professional looking and I'm going to cover it in stickers. Um, so this is the serger sitting on my table. Ah. Um, also kind of giving this an overview now too. I'm not as familiar with sergers because this is my first one. Um, but I just want to like go over things that I like about it. Um, first of all, cutter coding, cu cutter coding, color coding, and just like this very easy guide of like this stitch is going here and this one's going here and this one's going here and this one's going here. I don't know if that's common for machines, but I really appreciate having like a different color for each one um, just to make it really clear. Um, and also like I said something about this when I was opening it too. But like the fact that they left this little guide on here was really cool. Um, it comes with the little catch-all because all of like the little cutty offy bits will come out of here and fall in and, psh, and now they'll catch here instead of falling onto the floor. Um, yeah all of these settings and shit for me to explore. So I have everything kind of set up now. This is, this is my, the extent of my cosplay corner is like, that's it. That's my cosplay room. Um, and I'm so excited to use these machines together and create new things. Um, starting with finishing all of my costumes for Anime Boston, which is in a week and a half. Yay! Um, so, yeah, I hope this was at least a little bit informative to somebody, if not multiple people. And, yeah, thank you for watching. Goodbye!